everybody, I am Net Nursing Prep and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to give an I am intramuscular injection. So let's talk about the basics first and then I'll actually show you how to do it. So some things you need to know about I am injections. Common sites include the deltoid, which is here. This is the most common site we're going to use on an adult patient. The vastus lateralis, which is on the leg, and that is the most common site we use in children and babies. Ventral gluteal, which is on the hip, and then dorsal gluteal, which is on your behind. The amount we give kind of depends on the site. So the most common site is the deltoid, so the most common amounts we will give is anywhere between 1 and 2 mLs. If we have to give a larger amount of volume, you can give up to 5 mLs in the dorsal gluteal. So if you have to give more than 2 mLs, you don't want to do it in the deltoid, you want to do it in their bottom. The size of the needle that we're going to use is going to be 1 to 1 and a half inches. For most people, you're going to use a 1 inch needle, but if your patient is greater than 200 pounds, which is around 91 kilograms, if your patient is bigger than that, then they're going to recommend you use a one and a half inch needle. And when it comes to the gauge, it really depends on the size of your patient and what fluid you're giving, how viscous, how like thick it is, right? So you've got to take this stuff into consideration, but the most commonly used gauge is a 23 for an IM injection. So now that we know a little bit more about it, let's actually do it wash our hands, provide privacy, verify the patient with name and date of birth, do our three checks and our six rights, and we are ready to go. When drawing medication up from a vial, don't forget to record the lot number and the manufacturer name, and you also want to make sure to check the expiration date. So this is a vial I've used before. It's not really real. It's just for pretend for demonstration purposes. So let's just pretend. It's a vaccine, okay? We're going to give the flu shot or something like that. We would pop off the top, if it had a top on it, wipe it with the alcohol wipe, and then we would get our syringe and our needle ready. This is not a safety needle. If you have access to a safety needle, which is the kind that has a little device on it where you can lock it after you give the injection, definitely use that instead. I just don't have access to it, so that's why I have this kind of needle. And yes, this is a very big needle. This is a one and a half inch needle. So this is something we would use on a much bigger patient. So before we draw up from the vial, we need to instill air into the vial. So let's say that our medication record says we are giving 0.5 mLs. So we're going to draw back 0.5 mLs. Now we're ready to inject the air into the vial. We're going to invert it, so turn it upside down. And then we're going to pull back that same amount. So we injected 0.5 of air. We need to pull back 0.5 of the medication. One other thing I wanted to mention is we should always label our injections because if this was, you know, to fall on the floor or you saw it on somebody's, you know, computer on wheels and you weren't inside the room and it's just some random unknown clear liquid, right? We don't know what it is. So either take a piece of tape and write the name of the medication on it or there's actual little stickers that are medication labels that you can put on the syringe. That's just a safety thing you should always think of. To do an intramuscular injection on an adult, you're going to usually use the deltoid, and to find the right location, you're going to locate the acromion process, which is like the bony part right here, and then you're going to go two fingers down. So about right here is where we want to give it. So let's alcohol it off. And when we use the Z-Track method, we're going to use our hand to move the skin while our other hand holds the needle. So this is our IM injection that's been labeled medication A, and we're going to give it bevel up. So use your hand to move it off to the side, and then at a 90 degree angle, you can inject. So 
So that was my video on intramuscular injections. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.